day subscribers thank you so much for joining me today i am jeremy this is the financial education channel and today we're talking about growth investing versus value investing and after this video you guys should be able to either put yourself in one of the boxes or the other box and we'll kind of go through some of the biggest points, like seven of the biggest points I have here on the differences between what a growth investor is, what a growth investor is looking for versus what a value investor is looking for. Now I can tell you personally, um, both of these, and I'll explain toward the end of the video exactly why I consider myself both a growth investor and a value investor. And I'll kind of give you some pointers on, on stocks I'm involved with that are kind of a little combination of both guys. So I hope you enjoy this today. Leave that, this video a thumbs up if you do, and let's get into this. So number one, growth investors are, are looking for companies with revenue up 15% or more. Companies that are fast growing that revenue, where a value investor is someone that's getting involved with a company that's growing less than 15%. Could be considerably less than 15%, could even be negative growth. So that's kind of the difference right off the bat. A growth investors, they want the, the companies that are growing like insane revenues, you know, the Amazon, the Tesla, the Netflix, the Snapchat, the Facebook, some of these companies that the revenues are just skyrocketing some of the companies that are involved with um, you know making sure servers are safer and some of those kinds of things some of the cloud computing stocks uh, some of the 3d printing stocks although I know those have fallen dramatically and the revenue went kind of down but those were at one time were just like growth beasts you know revenues were up 50 hundred plus percent in some of those stocks so that's what a growth investor is looking for value yeah, the revenue is not nearly as important as some of the other metrics it's almost non-existent important compared to some of the other metrics when you're a value investor. Number two, growth investors, revenues only matter. Like that's like by far the most big, the biggest thing. It's by far the biggest thing. Like I explained before, value investors, they just don't care about revenue. You, a value investor could be in, literally in, uh, invest in a stock that has negative revenue go growth that like literally they're going down as far as revenue goes like they made less in revenue than the pre previous year like a value investor might still get involved with a stock like that because a value investor it's all about what kind of value what are you selling me they don't necessarily care if even if the revenue is going down if the value proposition on the other end means that they can possibly make money on that then they'll do it. I mean, it's no different than if somebody said to a value investor, hey, I'm gonna sell you this, this $100,000 house, right? This house is unfortunately only gonna be worth $10 10 years from now. But you know what? You can rent this house out for $20,000 a year. A value investor would say, okay, so what? It's not gonna be worth anything in 10 years, but if I can get $20,000 a year from that house, in the meantime, I'm gonna way more make more money than what my investment's actually worth. So that's kind of like the investor philosophy, the value investor philosophy versus the growth investor who's like, I want that house to be worth millions of dollars in the future. It's all about revenue growth. Number three, for growth investors, profits do not matter. They don't matter. Like growth investors could care less about profitability, especially in the short term. A growth investor, they don't care if that company's losing money. They don't care if that company lost $500 million last year, $100 million last year, or if they made $100 billion in revenue, but they only somehow profited $10 million on that number. They care about, like I said, the revenues only. Profits, they just, they don't care about it. A value investor, all about the profits. Profits are key for value investors. They're looking at PE ratios. They're looking at a forward PE ratio, current PE ratio. They want those PE ratios, generally speaking, to be much lower than what the, the industry's at and what the market in general's at. So if the market in general is trading at a current PE of 21, a value investor, they're trying to look for that current PE of 15, a 14, a 13, something like that. If all the, the companies out there are, have forward PEs on average of around 18, a value investor is looking for a 4P or a 13, a 12, some of those kinds of things, guys. So profits are key for value investors. Profits do not matter for growth investors. They do not care. Number four, a growth investor, the balance sheet does not matter. Growth investors don't care about how much cash the company has, how much debt the company has, how much in short-term investments. Like Growth investors, they don't care about that stuff. A value investor puts a great emphasis on balance sheet. 
How much does a company have in cash? How much does it have in debt? You know, how strong is that balance sheet? What do they have for inventory? Those kinds of things. Like a value investor really looks at that balance sheet and really cares about it a great deal. Growth investors are just like, I don't care about that. Give me the revenue growth. We'll, we'll be fine. And the balance sheet is, you know, can be whatever it is. If we have $5 billion in debt, but we're growing revenues 100%, that's what matters to a growth investor. Uh, number five, for growth investors, quarterly reports are key, especially as far as that revenue growth goes. If that revenue growth all of a sudden was to stall at big time, you know, they go they go from growing revenues like 30% to all of a sudden they, they go down to a 5% or a 6% or something, the stock would get absolutely destroyed because all growth investors would say, whoa, what is going on here? We need to get out of the stock ASAP. The growth is gone. For whatever reason, the growth is gone. So quarterly reports, so key for, for growth investors. A value investor, they're willing to like look past a bad quarterly report. A, a value investor is like, like, they just want to kind of watch quarterly reports to hear management's tone to kind of make sure the, the company's on progress to meet yearly numbers or long-term numbers. They're not like if, if a company was supposed to, a value investor, if a company was supposed to report a 7% revenue growth or profit growth and they only did, let's say, a 3% or 2%, a value investor doesn't just say, oh, let's get out of that stock. They're just like, okay, that was a bad quarter. Maybe things can bounce back now or listen to some tone and those kinds of things, guys. So big difference. Growth, uh, quarterly reports are monstrous. Uh, value, they're much more forgiving for a bad quarterly report. Uh, number six, growth investors do not care about dividends. They don't care about share buybacks. They want that money invested back into the company to grow the company more organically. A value investor, many value investors care about a dividend. Many value investors will not invest in a stock unless they pay a dividend. That's something to uh, to understand right then, right then and there. They also care about share buybacks. They want more shares being taken off the market. So as long as the company can just be as profitable last year as they were this year, and so on and so forth then the P.E. ratio ends up coming down as long as that stock price doesn't move, right? So the company becomes even a better deal at that point, which will then end up having to attract more value investors and they'll push that stock price up and more up more and more and they'll end up making money in the end. So growth, they just don't care about dividends. They don't care about share buybacks. Value, absolutely they do care about that. Number seven, last one here and then we'll get into why I'm a growth and value investor. Number seven, growth investors don't care about a management team. Growth investors don't look at who's the CFO and who's the CEO. I mean, growth investors might barely know who the CEO of that company is. They're not looking at the board of directors to see you know, who's on the board of directors. Where a value investor, they're, they're very focused on looking at the management teams, seeing what track records they are, doing research on some of these individuals, seeing how long they've all been together, looking at the board of directors, um, how talented is the board of directors, what companies are they from, how much experience do they have, all those kinds of things. A value investor pays attention to that. A growth investor, they, it's not important. It's not important in the end to a growth investor about who's a CEO and uh, you know where are they from and how long they've been there and that kind of stuff, guys. So those are the main differences between a growth investor and a value investor. Now, I'm a mixture of both these. And I'm a mixture of both because I think it's the best way of investing in the modern age. I don't think it's it's right to just be one or the other. Now, that doesn't mean you can't make money. That doesn't mean you can't do that. For me personally, though, it's not the right way because growth, if you're strictly focused on a growth and that you're just focused on growth investing, as soon as that growth slows, and we've seen it company after company after company, as soon as that growth drops off, those stocks drop 40, 50, 60% in a month or two, a month or two, guys. We've seen it. We could go down a laundry list of stocks, you know, from the Twitters of the world, the Fitbits, the GoPros. I mean, oh my gosh, there's so many stocks that as soon as that growth really slows, boom, it gets freaking destroyed, guys. I mean, uh, Chipotle is another example that comes to mind. That was a $700 stock. Then they had the E. coli situation. The growth left. So the growth investors left. Stock dropped like 40 plus percent in a few months time span, guys. So this can definitely is why I'm not just a growth investor and why I'm not just a value investor is because Nowadays, so many people are focused on growth and you can't just look at things from um, you know, the perspective of 
uh, company's at a 12 PE, therefore I should invest in that because it's lower than the market because what if that company's profits drop another 30%? Like companies can get taken out so easily nowadays, you know, where a company's up here and then, you know, somebody comes in, knocks them off and the next thing you know, they're down here. It's faster than ever nowadays for that to happen. So I'm not just one or the other, you know, if we look at like an investment, like let's look at my three biggest investments right now, right? As of doing this video, at least GoPro, Win Resorts, which have been my two mainstays for almost a year now, yeah, over a year, a little over a year, those have been my two main stocks, right? And then Google's my third stock. If we look at all those, GoPro, um, that's a company that is a little combination of growth but value because value, because it's trading at a low enterprise value and because GoPro has a great balance sheet, right? So that's why, you know, how I'm a value investor, I'm looking at balance sheet so if I can know the company's gonna get through the tough times, right? So that's my value side, but then my growth side is GoPro in the last quarter grew revenues 23%. So they're a fast growing company now. So I'm kind of balancing them both. Win Resorts. As a company that uh, grew revenues, I think 30%, somewhere around 30% this past quarter. I can't remember the specific number, but I think it was around 30%. And although they don't have a great balance sheet, if you compare them with other industries, for their particular industry, the resort industry, phenomenal balance sheet. Phenomenal balance sheet when you compare the, the cash and investments compared to versus the debt. For their industry, that's a great balance sheet because resort companies spend a lot of money on debt. They take out a lot of debt with those companies. So, um, but they're fast growth and they have a great management team, which is kind of my value side. They have a great phenomenal management team over there that has a proven track record, specifically Steve Wynn, of 30, 40 years of success, nothing but success. Um, then you look at Google, great management team over there, arguably the best balance sheet in the entire world, literally in the entire world, probably the best balance sheet over there at Google. Um, and then you look at uh, they're also fast growth. They're growing revenues by about 20%. They're growing profits around the same. So it's a growth company, but it's also a, a value. And you look at the PE ratio on a company like that, uh, the forward PE somewhere around a 21. So, which is kind of low for being a faster growing company. So that's why I'm, I'm a little mixture of both these. You can't just box me into the value vesting, uh, you know, philosophy, even though the Warren Buffett type structure, the Ben Graham, that's my, that's my investing foundation. You can't just box me into growth investing because there's a lot of things I look at that growth investors simply do not care about or look at, guys. So I'm a little mixture of both. Let me know what you guys are. If you're, you're more growth investor, you're more value investor. If you're a little mixture of both, but maybe you're a little partial of this side or that side, I would love to hear from you guys in that comment section and share your opinion on what you think is the best and why you think it's the best i would really love to hear from you guys there leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and if you just came across this channel you may want to subscribe we talk personal finance in the channel we talk entrepreneurship i'm an actual business owner i give away so many business tips we talk stock market investing more than anything thank you for watching guys and have a great day